Hi. Hi. Um, hi. So I got a little bit of a vintage and thrift haul here. Just a little bit. So hurry back. Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen. Going on all things Disney. From miles to parks and in between. Come share the magic with me. La 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 la. La 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 la. Live your life to a Disney tune. Come and share Jake's Disney afternoon. Hey Disney Afternoon Gang, welcome back to my channel and thanks for returning. If you're new here, my name is Jake and I do all kinds of Disney content including swaps, vintage, hauls, thrifts, pins, trips. If it's Disney, we're doing it. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next Disney adventure. Guys, I have done the most uh, in the vintage and thrift world, I have people all over the place looking for me. Few local things, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. Let me put this box down. Okay, so there goes half of the vintage stuff. Apparently, Hey Hey was holding it up. So, uh, this is not one of my favorite movies, but I do like Hey Hey. And this giant, he's very hard plastic. <laughs> I love a thing that makes noise. Um, he's got these big old feet. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't resist him. He was like two bucks. So I was like, all right, let's get him. So I may take him to school, but he was definitely a keeper. Let me get what's on the floor right there. Okay, let's start with this tiny little box. This came from Louisa, who does some shopping. Um, tell you they get rid of everything good out in her way so this is a set of three uh from the 1980s mcdonald's Shere khan king louis and blue i think mowgli was the only other character these are like the wind-up toys so i have these but i can never resist buying them so i had her grab those for me um oh there's a little card in here hold on it says uh Cute little sunflowers. Luisa loves her yellow. Oh, and some stickers. We've got some jasmine. Dear Jake, happy here's your June items. That's a far on behind. Um, she does this like monthly tally for a few of us where she goes shopping and um, kind of racks everything up and sends it every month. So I've been behind. Uh, thanks again for joining me on my shopping trips. You're the best, Luisa. Luisa, you are the best. Thank you for all you do. Um, this was trying to remember honestly it's been almost in this little like baggy kind of nicely wrapped I feel like maybe an ornament or something aha oh how cute is that so we've got bambi this is four bucks guys uh and the birds and the little holly jolly santa hat super cute That'll definitely be going on the tree. And then last in this tiny little box, and there's plenty more to go, uh, we've got this 90s quiz. It's called Hella 90s Pop Culture Trivia Game. And you know, I'm an 80s kid and a 90s teen. How do the lyrics go? Who wrote this song? Um, it's like a trivia game. All right, one question, because we've got places to go in uh, 90s music. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, let's try another one. It's the number of house party films that were made. Three, four. All right, so there we are. Uh, this will be fun. I want to use this on the channel at some point. We'll do some trivia together um, because clearly uh, 90s is... All right, I'm going to try to close that, but not really. Okay, uh, let's do all the... Is this books? Yeah, let's do all the books together. I got a special project for my books. Speaking of decades, I also picked up this in my local thrift, the 80s game. And uh, there it is on the back. I mostly picked this up because I thought uh, the trivia would be good. Let's see if there's sample trivia on the back because the box is actually still taped. Uh, this product is introduced in the mark with the marketing slogan, the hot stays hot and the cool stays cool. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below if you know. All right, so 
Lots of trivia coming up. Fall's a good time for trivia, I think. All right, so then, you know, also, April over at Thrifty Nerdy Mom, uh, she finds some great deals, too. She does Pop Shop. I'll leave her link down below if you're not checking out. First of all, Pop Shop is great, but April does ears for, like, so cheap, it's ridiculous. And then she finds some vintage deals, too. She said, Jake, thank you so much for your T-shirt purchase. You know, I love a good graphic tee. And really just being a great friend that you are. Oh, thanks, friend. I already told you about the, oh, I'm not going to tell you, ba -ba -ba zap. Um, but expect power line ears, too. Yes! Stand out above the crowd, even if I got to shout out loud. Okay, so let's take a look at the pop she sent me. She did message me about this, and you know I'm not too big on the old Funkos, but there are a few characters uh, other than the Disney Afternoon that I will make an exception for, and Rumiere is one. She told me about this little break there, but she fixed it, and I am very happy with him. He will go super cute. Let's see if we can get him to stay there. Cat, stay away. All right, let's get to the shirts, because that's what we are here for. So, oh, yes. My girl Whitney, check this vintage 90s goodness out. Oh. And I, I will always love you. Oh, such a good shirt. I had to get it. These were like five bucks or six bucks she was selling these for and i was like okay um i did kind of like this movie i feel like i relate to it more because you know he's some midlife crisis music teacher going through it so hello um but i thought this would be cute to add to my tea collection and then oh look at this a double boxing of, or a double dosage of hey hey today Tell you, I don't love this movie, but I, I really do love Hey Hey, and there he is in the background. So those are some awesome shirts. Thank you, um, April. Sorry. Uh, okay, I've got big, this, look at this giant, <clears throat> giant box. Let's do the books. Let's do the books. So I've been buying some books lately because I'd like to, I'm going to make some cards. I uh, want to use some of these to cut up. Uh, and to make into, you know, cards that I can send in box swaps and things, maybe some Christmas cards, uh, different things like that. So we've got, I don't know how many copies of this Wuzzles Elder book I have, but now I have one that I can destroy and not feel bad about. The Black Cauldron, Tarin Finds a Friend. Ugh, you know how I feel about the Black Cauldron. And these are like $1.29 each, so like, come on. Uh, DuckTales, The Secret, something under the sea, The Secret City Under the Sea. Uh, and I think I already have this one, too, but I bought it explicitly to cut up because, you know, why not give myself another project? Um, the Real Ghostbusters. This was a favorite cartoon of mine uh, um, from the 80s. Love the toy line, so snag that. All right, here's a throwback for all of you 80s babies. Kissy Fur. I was sort of medium into this. I mean, it was definitely around. Let's the copyright on this. 86, yeah. Um... I don't think I, I remember watching it a bit. I don't know if I had any of the toys or things, but definitely, definitely a good 80s throwback. Um, the New Adventures of Mr. Toad. I love this old sort of, uh, what was it called? The Wonderful World, World of Reading series. So, um, and Mr. Toad's awesome. Now these books, these were, oh, I love these so much as a kid, these giant hardcover books. This is $1.29, I mean, it's massive. And I've always loved the artwork. The only problem with some of this artwork is, uh, uh, it's a little bit large to make into cards, so I don't know entirely what I'll do with it, but you know, I wasn't gonna worry about it for $1.29. And then in the same series, the Aristocats, um, super cute artwork and then i've got this there's more oh i've got this giant box filled now this you know luis is so good this box they said they tried to deliver it to me then they sent it all the way back to luisa no don't note on my door they leave boxes in my apartment all the time so like stop 
I don't know. I can't remember the deal with this. this these are already cut up pages of the Jungle Book. Um, with like these cutout pieces and things like that. This is from the read-along book. Um, I probably just figured, since I was going to cut them up anyway, maybe it didn't matter. Or it was falling apart. I don't know. Anywho. Okay, what do Smurfs do all day long? They smurf, of course. Um, this one is cute for cards, though. It's got some smaller artwork and things in it. And, uh, yeah, I love the Smurfs. Love, love, love. So good. Okay, this short from probably the 50, the early 50s, I'm going to guess. I mean, I'm well, this book is from the 70s. I can't remember. Lauren, tell me when this short is from, but... Lambert, the sheepish lion, Lambert is always trying to be a wild and woolly sheep. He's woolly and weepish, silly and sheepish, still the sheepish lion. So there's the stork from Dumbo who made another appearance, but this is such a great story about family and identity and who you belong to and who gets to say what you're supposed to be. Um, so this one I probably won't cut up because this one I'm a little sentimental about. Henny Penny and the Big Bad Wolf. I remember having this one as a kid. I feel like there was a version of this um, maybe in like a read-along series too. I'm not sure, but I definitely remember good old Henny Penny. Uh, love the artwork. All right, what else do we have? Oh, I just watched this the other night, American Tale. This was from the McDonald's series. Um, I think you got books with the Happy Meals, which was like a disappointment. We were like, give us give us toys. Like, nobody wants your books. Um, but the artwork is cool, and I do love an American Tale. Although I was a little surprised this time at how a little bit sloppy it was. But, you know, somewhere out there... Someone saying a prayer. Pigs in space. This was the segment I always look forward to on The Muppet Show. Um, it was so funny. And to kind of see it in this sort of artwork form, um, I don't think I... Oh man, look at that. I definitely don't think I had this. Other Muppets books in this series. Bo Saves a Show, The Case of the Missing Hat... Fozzie's Big Book of Side-Splitting Jokes, Gonzo and the Giant. All right, I'm going to have to look for some of those books, but um, there's a whole list of them right there. But, man, did I love Pigs in Space. All right, moving along. This We got this giant book. This is Picos Bill from uh, the American Classics series, and uh, this was a short in... Is it Make Mine Music or Melody Time? Oh, I don't know. Remember the live action film they did in like the early 90s with Patrick Swayze and somebody? It wasn't great. It was okay. Uh, but it was a remake of um, basically this tale. Too big for cars, but the artwork is super cool. And again, $1.29. All right, moving along. Uh, Tiny Dino. So um, this is Guy Gilchrist's book. And... Um, I'm a big fan of his artwork, so this is from, well, from 88. I don't have any personal uh, attachment to this, except I was always a big fan of his artwork. So I bought this mostly for that, and it's in beautiful shape. So um, did any of you have this, uh, have this as a kid? Um, some of you 80s babies? Uh, let me know down in the comments if you remember this series. I don't even know if there's more than this one or if it was, a, I don't think it was a cartoon. I would have for sure watched it. Uh, this book belongs to Nate, not any longer Nate. Uh, it doesn't say. That might be the only book. Uh, all right, who had this series as a kid? I think I had most or all. I feel like my grandmother ordered them for me. I remember the volume numbers. Um, the artwork again, super cool in there. Uh, I would like to get this whole series back, I feel. All right, move it along, Jake, move it along. All right, Donald joins the, Mounti the Mounties. All right, my Canadian friends, we have got a Donald Canadian adventure for you. Um, another one I hadn't seen, this belonged to Matt. Sorry, Matt. 
Uh, I don't see a copyright date in here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's from Groiler. 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 Bon -ha -ha. Uh, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Another one in this series. Um, you know how I feel about the Dumbo, but the artwork in this one is great for cards. So, uh, I would probably cut this one up. Oh, look at that picture. Mother Jumbo. All right, we've got my friend, my friends, Oliver and company. The more, the merrier. Oh, Georgette. Hey ho, get it, girl. Uh, yeah, the artwork and very, very bold colors in this. Um, all right, a few more books. We're getting there, I promise. Sleeping Beauty, another one in this giant series. Again, probably, you know which picture I loved? I love this, like, combo picture right here at the end with, like, all of the characters kind of, like, coexisting together. Um, make it red, make it pink. I mean, make it blue. You know what I mean. All right. Thumbelina, she's a funny little squirt. Thumbelina, da 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 da. Thumbelina, first she's mending, then baking, pretending she's making things home. Bye. Uh, I love this movie. This is one of Don Blue's pinnacles, in my opinion. Uh, I read an interview saying he admitted that the the script was weak on this, and I watched Rock a Doodle last night, and I thought. Well, have you seen Rockadoodle recently, sir? Um, great, great film. All right, we've got Muppet Babies. This was another McDonald's uh, special. Oh, I definitely had this one as a kid. The read-along, It's a Small World. Um, I wish I wouldn't put these stickers on it. I mean, come on, we know they're $1.29, but look at the artwork. Aren't those going to make really cool cards? Um, the different, yeah, those are going to be fun. I've got a project, project, pro, ha, 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 project. All right, I definitely had that one as a kid. Uh, I probably still have the record to this, actually, somewhere. But again, the artwork is so good. And then uh, we've got Toad Flies High. This one's kind of wrapped up. Toad Flies High, no writing, no soil. No, there's like a whole little note on the back. Um, not from Louisa. Uh, what else we got here? All right, some little golden books. Definitely... Alice. Ooh, Beauty and the Beast, a teapot's tale. Yes, Mrs. Potts. Uh, artwork in this is definitely going in some cards. And then the classic Peter Pan. I may have a copy of that. All right, two more books. The Silly Canine Caper, Darkwing Duck. Figured I needed some Disney Afternoon cards. And then finally, my umpteenth copy of Moosel from the Wuzzle. Woo! That was a pile of books. Louisa, you're finding all of the best stuff, I swear. All right, final box. Hang in with me for just a little bit more, guys. I don't think there's actually too, too much in this box. So let me just open it up. Uh, she says, Jakey, here are all your other items for July. And oh, look at this on a little Rescue Rangers paper. Where did you get that? That's amazing. Okay. All right. Ah. All right, so adulting means getting excited about having extra packing materials for the next time I send a box. Okay, so let's breeze through here. We have got a bag of buttons, and you know how I feel about a bag of these classic buttons. Um, so Snow White, let's see, uh, Pocahontas. So I'll throw them right back in there. And, Great Mouse Detective, uh, two more, Aladdin for the VHS copy, and a Goofy movie. I gotta find a project for these. All right, then they have these little, uh, so these little PVC Smurfs, they're not cheap and they're sort of hard to get a hold of a little bit. So this was 10 bucks for three of them, including one of them, Papa Smurf is Smurf has been made into a little Christmas ornament there, but um, I definitely love these little figures and characters. Um, so happy to add that in. All right, let's go into T-shirt land. <laughs> I am your father. Great shirt. I don't feel like that one needs a wash. Um, oh, this is a, I was like, what is this? This is a old school Ghostbuster shirt. Uh, and you've got quotes uh, from all of them. All right, this chick is toast. Ray is gone. Bye-bye, Egon. Okay, 
So uh, you've got Peter Venkman, Ray Stans, Egon Spengler, and Winston Zettimore, and there they are. Thought that was a nice throwback shirt, and then I bought this, which clearly ain't gonna fit me in this lovely crop top style, but um, I thought those like pictures would be cool on ears, don't you think? I could cut some of those out and make some ears, and I think it was only, I don't know if there's a tag, but it's like a couple bucks or something, so. All right, a couple more things. We're gonna do these in another video, but I got uh, the full vintage set of the Lion King trading cards. I do, I believe, have this whole series. Um, I'll do a little uh, read along with you sometime in the future, but uh, I like to pick these up too. I don't know why, just do. Uh, then I got, there was a, uh, a second series that they released with Lion King called Lion King Series 2. And again, I got the full set of that. So we'll take a look through those on another rainier day. And then I got, which I know I have this set. I think there were two sets of this too. Uh, this is the Aladdin uh, set. So we'll take a look through those. And then uh, is it finally, finally... buttons are flying let's see squeeze my tummy come true with rosie what a cutie patootie go on give me a kiss Ah, uh, uh, who remembers this show from the 90s? Rosie was my absolute favorite. I loved her to death she was the reason I got a Broadway education and um yeah I miss I miss that show so for $8.99 in her little box couldn't help but pick up the little Rosie. So there she is on the back. Rose, if you're watching, you're not. Uh, one more squeeze. Come true with Rosie. Do you only say come three on, things? Give me a kiss. I already gave you one. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Oh, okay. That was a vintage haul. So, um, boy, I made a mess. Uh, of everything that I got, tell me down below what was your favorite or tell me, do you remember any of it? Do you have a story connected to it uh, from when you were a kid? Because so much of this stuff, I feel like is stuff we had as kids. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know um, your story. So tell me down below. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you are not subscribed. We've got a pin swap on Wednesday and I'm going to tell you it is an epic box that I was sent. So you're going to want to come back for that on Wednesday. Uh, more pins coming up. Ooh, I am changing the logo. I uh, worked with an artist very recently and got a custom logo. I'm going to do a reveal soon, so you're not going to want to miss that. All right, that's enough for today. I hope to see you soon on the next Disney afternoon.